Coach John, you know, kind of, kind of tell us how this year is different from last year, maybe, maybe how you've grown as a coach, and also how the team is uh, different from last year this time. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's an entirely different. Um, you know, one, we've got a new locker room, even the, the guys that have been here that are returning, they, you know, they're older, they're more mature, their their bodies are different, their understanding of what we're doing uh, from a program picture and a schematic picture is is higher. Um, as a staff, you know, we've we've grown. You know, it's uh, it's no secret. Like last year was that was my first rodeo. You know what I mean? Um, so you you find ways to improve the program. You 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 take the things that worked and enhance them and. Um, the things that you need to get stronger in, you, you dive into them and, and embrace that uh, that feeling of being uncomfortable. And uh, I think for me personally, um, just understanding how best to use my time in order to help the program um, from a football standpoint. Um, you know, I think a year ago there was a lot of things that we were tweaking and changing. Um, just, you know, the, the, the stuff on the periphery, the the, the ins and outs of the program that had nothing to do with the playing field. And so now that everybody's been here for a year, they understand how we how we want to operate. Um, you know, you, there's no need to micromanage and, and now you can dive into football a little more. And um, you know, I just think it's much, we're in a much better place. You know, I look back to this time a year ago, n knowing what I know now and, and seeing what, what we're seeing in front of us now. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not close. All right, uh, Corey um, is listed. Corey Stewart listed as a starter at left tackle. There's some other guys who you had said before weren't going to be able to play, and they're not listed here. So I'm just clarifying. Does that mean he's definitely able to play on? The no, I, I would say he's he's questionable right now. We'll yeah. see how kind of this week goes. Uh, not out of the not out of the question, but um, you know, still a possibility. Did you get to the end of camp? with an idea of who you think your five best offensive linemen are, or is that still a very fluid situation just because Corey hasn't been able to practice? No, uh, you know, I mean, Corey is in the top five. Like, there, there, there was no question about that. Um, and then, you know, past past that, there are a few guys uh, that missed a little bit of time in camp that we still want to see a little more from. Um, you know, obviously the guys that have, have been there, uh, we know what we're getting from that standpoint, and, and you know, we're happy with the depth uh, that we've created at that position. Where does FCS opponents fit into your scheduling philosophy going forward as a head coach? Um, you know, you, you play nine conference games, and so if you could have three of them, uh, that, would, that would be great. Um, but um, you know, it's it's a I think it's a good opportunity for the FCS opponents to to play in, in a power four, big 10 type atmosphere and, and against uh, those type of opponents. Um, you know, I know as a, a coach, like you like to go up against, you know, the best of the best and then kind of see where, where you stack. And um, for us, like it's a, it's a good chance to really dive into the process and, and fully respect the preparation and your opponent and um, you know, and go compete and, and get somebody's best shot, you know what I mean? And so I think anytime you, you can do that, especially early in the year, is good for both both programs. You talked about your preparation and how you're doing things differently this year, but as a whole, you know, a lot of these guys have been through this with you now, a lot of them haven't. Uh, how's the team kind of come together as a whole and, and realize, you know, it's real now, we're rolling out the ball and, and we're keeping score? Yeah, um, you know, I, I would say that this is probably the, the closest team I've been around, um, and that's not only as head coach but as a assistant as well. Um, I think we we did a lot of things uh, in the winter, in the spring, in the summer to provide opportunities for organic relationships to form. Uh, I think the guys have done a really good job of, of reaching out to you know guys in the locker room that they wouldn't normally hang out with to, to just to get to know each other. Um, I think that showed up in the way we practice. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of a lot of fights out there. There was there was guys that were competing at a high level, but also taking care of each other. Um, you know, we like I said, we did a lot of things where where you had an opportunity to be vulnerable and talk about things that weren't football related. 
um, to just to get to, to dive deeper into the individual. And, you know, everybody's going through different things and, and different walks of life. Um, and everybody's got their own problems. And so you kind of get to know why people act the way they do and, um, you know, why guys might communicate a certain way. And I think anytime you have that background and that understanding, uh, just allows for more efficient communication. You said, or Coach Petrilli said, or probably both, you want the best guys uh, with the ball returning kicks. And uh, with Don, obviously you got running backs, but uh, Elijah Jackson, somebody you have on the kick return, listed as the number one. What do you like about him when the ball's in his hands? I mean, he's really, really fast. Um, you know, he's a track guy in high school, and that definitely translates to the gridiron. Um, you know, he's put on a lot of a muscular weight uh, since last year, and so, and he's a you know shorter in stature, so it's it's hard to see him once he gets behind some blockers, and uh, when he gets in the open field, it, it's pretty electric. Can you expound a little bit on some of those team building things you did for a lot of teams? That's like bowling and stuff in the summer. Did you go deeper than that? Yeah, we did. We went a lot deeper than that. Um, you know, I think one of the first things we did, you know, we we created teams of you know six seven eight guys and we're strategic about who are on those teams you know it was a, a guy returning a guy um you know that that was incoming in, in january in different position groups different backgrounds um and we took them to escape rooms uh, in town and so that kind of forced people to communicate with each other um, and, you know, got to see who, who was able to get out of there the fastest. And so, you know, you got to see leadership, um, you got to see problem solving, um, and you got to, you know, just see them interact. And I thought that was a cool experience. Um, you know, we brought them back to the indoor one night and, and you know, again, brought them up into different teams strategically, um, had a dodgeball tournament. So now you saw, got to see guys like compete. That was the most competitive dodgeball I've ever seen. <laughs> Um, but got to see guys compete and have fun. You know, again, nothing to do with football. Um, we rented out uh, the tap for one of the playoff games and, and made guys sit with uh, people they didn't know. So you got to, you know, just break bread, have fellowship, watch some ball, kind of an icebreaker there. Um, and then in fall camp, we had um, 40 minutes, 45 minutes at the end of the every day before our final walkthrough, before they, you know, headed home to, to get some rest, we had uh, breakout sessions where, again, it's, you know, four or five guys per group uh, with a coach as a moderator. Um, and again, every every uh, day it was a different, you had a different team, different, never with the same guy twice. Um, and just ask them life questions. You know, we had a, you know, first off was, who, who are you, where are you from? What was your family dynamic growing up? Um, and then I would present a question or two for the group to ask, just to generate, um, you know, some thought and and um, and dialogue. And I felt like that really helped us get to know each other and find out, you know, what what people's motivations are, and you know, what what people are afraid of, um, and what people are hopeful for. And so I thought, you know, that that was a, a great way to get to know each other and, and develop some real chemistry sort of in the big picture what you're trying to do here at Purdue, how do you define success? Do you put a win total on it? Do you just um, I think base it on the underlying trends, the interest in the program, whatever it might be? Um, I, I think I, I would be better suited to answer that question at the end of the season. Um, you know, right now, you know, success for us is scoring more points than Indiana State on Saturday. Um, so, yeah, that's my answer to that question. Uh, did you have any mentors that you leaned on in the offseason and kind of learned from? Uh, you know, there's a, a bunch of guys that that I've worked with that I, I talk to frequently. Um, you know, I would say my biggest mentor is my dad, and that's probably who I talk to the most. Um, you know, he, he has a, a pretty level head and um, kind of sees things for what they are, face value, and um, is not afraid to shoot me straight. Uh, so I do a, a lot of leaning on him. And then uh, just how complex are you looking to get for Saturday? Are you guys going to kind of hold back some things, or are you, are you trying to dive into it? Uh, just I would just dive into it. You know, I've, I've uh, been a part of programs where, you know, you try to not to show things. Um, ultimately, you're trying to win a ball game, and you know, we all know how, how difficult it is to win. 
Um, and also, I think, you know, the more you show, especially early in the season, the more your opponent has to work on. Um, and so, you know, we'll, we'll show what we need to show and um, try to be strategic in that, in that uh, aspect. More questions for Coach? All right. Thanks, everyone. Sweet. Thanks, that was Coach. easy. <laughs>